PK in the universe, here to talk about Zelda 2, The Adventure of Link. Not this Zelda, Zelda 2 SP, that's right. I'm here to talk about what some folks would call the easy version of Zelda 2. More specifically, I'm going to talk about two things that I really like about this game. A little background about how I feel about Zelda 2 and how I have felt in the past. My first experience playing the game was when I was a kid, I remember renting it. I wasn't very good at it then, still not really good at the original version of the game now. And there's a lot of reasons I'm not good at it. One, I did not know how to play the game. That was one of the biggest problems, and I'll get more into that later. But it's just one of those games that's very unique because it's side-scrolling, but it also has a top-down view at the same time for as far as exploring. The side-scrolling parts in the town were kind of neat, honestly, especially like talking to people. I've just never been good at this game, like a lot of people. And there's some people who are like, oh, I was always good at Zelda 2, even when I was five years old and I could beat it, you know? And you hear those kind of stories, you know? And there's, But you know what? Some people, that was literally the only game maybe they ever had, honestly. And you could, at that age, and you could tell that they have a lot of invested memories in that. So I see where some people will say they were really good at it when they were a kid. I just never was, because I had other games to play. It is what it is. So anyways, yeah, I've never had a lot of fondness for Zelda 2, but I always respected it for what it is. So anyways, I want to go into what are the two things that I really like about Zelda 2 SP. The first one is it makes this game narratively make more sense. Hear me out. When they did the first Zelda SP game for the NES Online collection, you know, that didn't really make any sense. It's like, okay, he's just super Link, that's all. You know, it's like this, almost like a second quest or something. Whereas this one, it makes perfect sense. Actually makes more sense than the original Zelda 2 because one thing that doesn't make any sense about the original Zelda 2 is why is Link such a weakling? Like, literally, in the first game, he was 10 years old and he defeated Ganon and all of Ganon's minions. Am I to believe for the last six years he has just sat around eating Twinkies and doing nothing? No, I don't buy that at all. I think Link was out there having adventures and then eventually comes home into Hyrule to protect the Triforce, especially when Ganon's minions are hunting him. There's no way Link just sat around. I don't believe that he's... Yeah, I don't buy that. I just don't believe that story that he just sat around and did nothing and got fat and all of a sudden decided, hey, I'm going to, you know, go save Hyrule again and, you know, save this, you know, prince or wake this princess from a thousand years ago or whatever. I can't remember the story all that well. But anyways, yeah. So narratively speaking, it makes sense more. The second reason is playing this game with Link all jacked. Oh my gosh, it's like a whole other game. The original premise of of Zelda 2 and to me at least anyways is this is a difficult game you need to develop your skills and constantly get stronger whereas this game is not doesn't even matter because you're all your character is fully maximized but he is not invulnerable by any means I still got killed a bunch of times the major difference is this is a game about exploration now and more so than it is a game about getting strong and hopefully figuring out how to get to the end so that's one thing I really like about it is this is a game about exploration now instead of a game about, you know, figuring out combat. I mean, but that's the other nice thing too is you're so strong, it makes figuring out the combat much faster. So that was one thing that was always a struggle with me with the original Zelda 2 is I could never figure out how to play it because I'd get killed so fast. So yeah, so those are the things I really like about Zelda 2 SP. So what are your guys' thoughts? Uh, what, how, do you, how do you feel about Zelda 2 in general? Comment below. I'd love to hear what you have to say. Thank you guys so much for watching, and stay awesome in this universe. Thanks. Bye.